Hello again YouTube, welcome back to the 10th tutorial in the RPG from scratch tutorial series. This is actually an outline of my first ever RPG tutorial uh, similar to that of Final Fantasy 1. Um, first I wanted, I wanted to just let you guys know, it's, I know it's been a while since I've made a tutorial and uploaded it on YouTube. I just kind of got a little bit discouraged with the, the low number of views that I was getting and uh, uh, I actually, I've done a lot of work on this, but I haven't taken the time out to actually record any of it, so I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update and show you where I'm at. Uh, first off, let me show you the level editor. Now this level editor was basically um, designed, the, all the user interface and all the, uh, the, the uh, plumbing of it was designed by Kurt Jagers, and I obtained this code uh, by his book, book X and A 4.0 Game Development by Example. It's a great book. I'd highly recommend um, picking up a copy. I definitely would not be as far as I am today without his help in, in um, showing me basically how to incorporate Windows Forms with um, X and A Game Studio. So this is um, this user interface is all Kurt Jager's uh, design. He basically designed this to to edit levels for a side scroller. Uh, using some of the content in the starter kit, the XNA starter kits. Um, but uh, basically, uh, uh, yeah, this is all basically this is all his design. The only modifications I made to this design was I fixed the bug. I'm not sure if it was in his source code or my version of his source code. But when you um, resize the screen, it would stretch the actual tiles, which would cause. Uh, um, issues with the mouse synchronizing with the actual location here um, regarding the tile map, but that's regardless of the size point. Um, in, in his design, you can load a map, you can save a map. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load map number 000, which is my world map that I've created so far using this program and all of my textures. Uh, and this is what I've done so far. The red tenting here basically marks whether or not it's passable. You can right click to to denote whether or not it's passable to the avatar. This just basically keeps our avatar from um, going out and walking on water and it keeps them where we want the avatar to be placed at all times. Uh, as you can see I added some more textures. I'll give you a brief overview here. Um, another thing that uh, actually let me discuss uh, the other features of this uh, this uh, map designer real quick here. Um, there's layers all this, all all the grass tiles and the water tiles, they are all under the base. Um, and basically, what this is this allows us to do is add an additional layer. And obviously, these are all the tiles that we have. We can select these tiles here. But let's take the grass tile for instance. This is actually a 54 by 54 pixel tile. And uh, I added an alpha channel here which basically allows it to be transparent in this upper left hand corner. So if I select this and go to layer and make the additional layer, um, it will basically, you can even see here, um, well that's alpha transparency, that's not actually how I wanted it to work, but there's no undo buttons. But, um, let me see, let me find the stone and, and fix that uh, real quick here. Um, basically, what this allows us to do is it allows us to um, put this uh, 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 tile, this texture, over um, different types of, of grass textures as long as it's a base texture. And, and I don't have to do like I did for the land meeting the sea. I don't have to record or draw all the tiles with the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the transference between... Um, um, land and sea. I, I, I basically have an alpha channel here that allows me to do that automatically. And now, um, at any rate, um, we're going to go back up here and we're going to make that empty there. Um, uh, I also, I don't know if I told you, but what I did um, to make it easier to navigate this world is I made it so that the horizontal and the vertical scroll bars here and here um, link up with WASD, which allows me to scroll around with my left hand, which makes it a lot easier than having to come down here and scroll like this. And that's a feature that Kurt Jaggers did not have. I just added that, and it makes um, development a lot easier in this context. 
Um, as you can see, I added some, uh, this is going to be like a tree house for a tree house world. And when you go into the little tree cavern here, it, it'll actually transport you to a different map number. And that's will be, let's say, 001. And uh, that'll bring up an entirely different map um, for the, the, the area um, that corresponds to this tile right here. Now, the way we're going to denote that to the game is we're going to give it a code and we'll say um, code is LVL um, teleport let's just say and we'll call it 001 and we can even add an X and Y coordinate position there let's say 7 6 is our XY coordinate and what that basically tells us and, um, and we right click that right here and as you can see it pops up it's labeled so we know that it's a teleport cell and it teleports to map number 001 so basically the game will then unload this map and it will load in map 001 which I have yet to create the content for this but as you can see this is actually a completely different map here it doesn't have anything in it yet as you can see here because I have yet to create the the map for that that teleport region I don't even know if that's going to be the actual um, format of the code but it's going to be something similar to that and basically what we'll do is we'll just check that in an if statement uh, something to the effect of if avatar um, bounds intersects uh, uh, this tile um, has a code to it um, we'll, we'll basically um, call a level change um, method which will teleport or basically unload the old map and load up whatever map is embedded in the code and uh, that's basically it for this tutorial um, other than that you can see up here there's a list of there's a list of uh, textures that you can use to draw um, everything that you saw in map one or I'm sorry map zero in the, in the um, this map here was all drawn from just these textures and combinations therein um, it's basically that's where we're at right now uh, give you a little overview in the next tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you the actual RPG game running with uh, the avatar a crude avatar that I've drawn up uh, the avatar actually has walking animations so it should be good uh, please if you have any questions feel free to post them in the uh, comments section of the video I'll try to answer you as quickly as I can. And uh, other than that, please rate. If you like it, like it. If you uh, if you think it's helpful, please go ahead and, and, and share it with your friends. Um, I appreciate your time, guys, and uh, thanks for looking.